Okay, so we're going to talk about the structure of the atoms and isotopes in this animation. Um, the atom has, is made up of the subatomic particles. So subatomic particles are the proton, which is positively charged, the neutron, which has no charge, and the electron, which is negatively charged. The proton and the neutron are in the nucleus, the electrons on the outside. Now, thinking about the periodic table, or looking at the periodic table, you'll notice two key numbers. So let's blow up carbon here, um, so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, when we blow up carbon, there are two numbers around the element symbol in the name. The top number is the atomic number, six. This is the number of protons in the nucleus. This is how we identify the element. If an element has six protons, it will be carbon. If it had a different number of protons, it would have a different atomic number, it'd be a different element. Now, the atomic weight is the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Now, you'll notice that it's 12.011, and that this is not an integer. And the reason it's not an integer is because of the presence of isotopes. And isotopes are atoms of the same element, but they have different masses. So, carbon has three primary isotopes, as you can see here. Carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. All of these atoms are carbon atoms. They all contain six protons, which means they all have an atomic number of six. But they have different masses. Remember, mass is protons plus neutrons. So they have a different number of neutrons. Since they all have the same number of protons, they have different numbers of neutrons. If you add the protons and neutrons together, you get 12 for carbon-12. You get 13 for carbon-13. You get 14 for carbon-14. Thus, they are isotopes, elements with the same atomic number but different masses. That's what an isotope is. Now, most elements have naturally occurring isotopes. The, they have atomic, and the atomic mass that is shown on the periodic table is what is known as a weighted average of the masses of the isotopes. So, you can see I'm drawing an arrow here to the uh, weighted average. So, what a weighted average is, is a weighted average is the mass times the percent for each isotope, then adding those numbers together. So, as we said, carbon has three primary isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. Now, we're going to make two columns. We're going to say percentage, and we're going to say mass. The percentage of carbon-12 is 98.9%. 98.9% of all carbon atoms are carbon-12 atoms. The mass is 12.0. Zero. The carbon-13, 1.1% of all ca uh, carbon atoms are carbon-13. The mass is 13. And for carbon-14, there's only a trace amount, so we're going to say it's 0.0%, even though that's technically not correct. So what we do is we take our percentages and we multiply it times the mass. 0 0.989 times 12 is 11.86. Point uh, 0, 0.011 times 13 is 0.143, and 0, 0.0 times 14 is 0, 0.0. You add those numbers together, you get 12.011. Where have we seen that number before? That is the atomic weight listed on the periodic table.